everybody coming back at you with another video showing you some of my recent pickups from the last week and a half. And I'm going to start off here with this 1952 uh, Richie Ashburn. I'm uh, really excited to get this Ashburn. It's a card I've been looking to get for some time. Uh, this one is just an excellent five. Uh, it's got really good sharp corners, uh, really vibrant colors. Uh, it looks, you know, looks very good for, for being from 52. Obviously it's got some centering issues. And if you look down here on the right side, there's kind of like a, like a chip on the side. Uh, it looks almost like it might be something that was uh, done at the manufacturing stage. So coming off the, the printing press in 52, uh, tops might have, you know, might have got a nick or something in it. But still a really cool, cool card uh, for the Richie Ashburn collection, and I'm super excited to have it. Another guy that I collect uh, that I've been waiting for some time to get uh, this card, the 63 Jim Bunny. I wanted to get in a near mint seven. I've seen several buy it nows out there, but I, I always thought they were just a little bit overpriced. So this came up at an auction. Still paid a little more than I would have liked to, but in the end, uh, it was uh, definitely a better deal than the buy it nows I'd seen. So excited to have that for the bunny collection. Uh, looking here, I've got a couple 1966 tops. These are all commons. Um, if you uh, follow uh, Just Collect Sports, they have a uh, their YouTube channel. They'll show uh, recent pickups. And they actually bought a 66 set completely, uh, complete set. So they, they're selling it on eBay. And I was able to pick up six comments from that. Now this Mill Pappas, he was a two-time All-Star. Uh, he's most known for being uh, one of the three guys that was traded for Frank Robinson back in 1966. Uh, he had a great career, Pappas did, but he was never quite uh, the player that uh, Frank Robinson was. So he kind of was uh, viewed as a really one-sided trade. Uh, and of course, in '66, uh, all Frank Robinson does is go over and uh, hit for the triple crown in the American League. Then uh, this Gary Peters, uh, two-time All-Star, he was the uh, '63 Rookie of the Year, and in '66 he actually led the league in ERA. Uh, he had under a two, I think, a two, like a 1.9 something ERA. Really, a uh, really good player that not a lot of folks know about. And then uh, Bill Henry, uh, I think he was a one-time All-Star, but mostly just a middle relief kind of guy. A good team player, but uh, not a superstar. And then this uh, Mike McCormick, he was the uh, 1967 Cy Young Award winner, a two-time All-Star. And then here, this uh, lastly here on the end, this Johnny Romano, a two-time All-Star. This is kind of in near the end of Romano's career as a catcher with the White Sox. And then down here to this row, this uh, John Satoris, he was a he was truly a common. He, he pitched one inning in 1966, gave up two runs. So uh, not the best year, but uh, a very sharp card. Still cool common to have. This 1976 Hostess Willie McCovey hand cut. I've been looking to get the 76 uh, Hostess for Willie McCovey for some time. I, they just There's just not a lot of them popping up on eBay. Uh, there was always one for a buy it now. It was only a VGX4, and uh, somebody wanted, you know, like, 18 bucks for it or something and there are times I thought maybe I should just pop on this because they're just this card is just not showing up uh, but I want to say a couple weeks ago another one of these in the mid nine showed up and I I bid on it and lost it and I was just like it was more than I was willing to pay for it so I just kind of let it go and then another one popped up uh, later on last week and then uh, I was able to get it for for a much better price than the other one went for so that was my uh, my steal of the week there. I'm really, really excited about that. And then as you guys know, I do collect uh, Nolan Ryan as well. So here's two 80s cards uh, back from my generational uh, era when I was collecting the 86 Don Ross and the 88 Fleer Glossy. I uh, really do like that 86 Don Ross card. That card just uh, brings me back to my youth. And then I did get one football card, this Joe Montana Instant Replay from 1984. I have this card autographed, but it's kind of off-centered, so I wanted this and at least a near mint to mint 8 for my uh, Montana collection as I try to get all his cards from the 1980s. And then here at the end, these two, this uh, triple thread. Now, normally I'm just a vintage collector, so this is my first triple threads card, but this is a vintage uh, bat piece, so uh, I look at it that way, but still a, kind of a cool card. Willie McCovey, and if you look at the image on the back there, it shows uh, McCovey Cove in the background, which is cool. And then, uh, of course, uh, some of you have heard in the news, Willie McCovey was just uh, pardoned for tax evasion uh, by then-President Obama. 
So I think that's kind of cool because uh, Willie McCovey, from all from everything I hear, is really one of the nice guys out there when it comes to uh, to signing autographs and just uh, just kind of a fan favorite. And then another guy I collect, Hoyt Wilhelm, a pretty cool uh, pinstripe from a game used uniform of his. It's just an Airman Seven, but I really didn't buy it for the grade. I just wanted to get the card. Yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. And then the last item and one I'm really excited about, maybe the thing I'm excited about the most here, I finally got myself a, uh, a Hank Aaron autograph. I've been looking to get one for some time and just could never uh, could never win any auctions. I always uh, was overbid. So I really, uh, I just recently started purchasing a couple of these uh, first day covers. They're basically an envelope. Uh, so this one, uh, it was postmarked uh, 1 August 82, the year that... Uh, I guess it's the day that Hank Aaron was inducted to Cooperstown. So it gives a little bit of his uh, history there at the bottom. Obviously you can see the on-card autograph, very nice. And then uh, it's kind of like a silk screen on the envelope there. But uh, super excited about these, uh, these recent pickups. Uh, once again everybody, I appreciate your posts and comments below. And uh, thanks again for watching.